So guys, there's a lot to unpack in this video and I'm sorry I'm cram cramming everything into this one video, but I have so much to do this week around the homestead. So I have to give you this news you can use. This is very serious. Um, and this is happening in Michigan, a fungal outbreak in Michigan. Nearly 100 paper mill employees could be infected. So when I tell you things are happening, things are happening. I have recorded maybe three stories in this one video. And I made this one my last one when I was recording it, but I'm gonna put this one first because this is so serious. Not that the other ones aren't, they're all very serious. It's hard to determine nowadays which one should, should go first. And I didn't wanna just do one story, put it out, then do another story and then put it out. So I really do hope that you guys watch the entire video. Um, a lot of stuff that's happening is going to affect a lot of people. Uh, it's just, it's insane what is happening and where everything is going and how we got to this point. And how we got to this point is just lies and deceit is how we got here. And that is pretty much how we're going to stay here if things continue the way they are going. So please give this video thumbs up. That helps the channel. That helps the video get out to more people. So more people will know because they're not talking about this on mainstream media. Share the video out. Share the videos out. Even the gardening one. People need to learn skills right now because where we stand right now in this impending depression that we're in, a lot of folk aren't going to survive like our ancestors did. They don't have any skills that it need. Grow their food and preserving their food and just, you know, basic skills of fixing things. So nearly 100 people have likely contracted blastomycosis. Yeah. Is an outbreak at the Bill Rudd paper mill. And this is according to numerous reports and a press release from the public health. Blastomycosis is an infection caused by a fungus called blastomyces. I hope I ain't messing these names up. Per the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC. Health agencies are still working to identify the source of the exposure. The fungus thrives in moist soil and decomposing wood and leaves, according to the CDC. About a dozen of the mill's employees have been hospitalized. Okay, so the article goes on. Now I see why it took so long for them to say anything because it can take anywhere from three weeks to three months for symptoms to appear. The facility is located in Escanaba, and that's in Michigan. Good morning, fam. Welcome back to Tommy's Carolina Homestead. How are you guys doing today? Today is Wednesday, the 12th of April, and so much is happening out here in this news. So we're gonna unpack a couple of different stories in this one video, because honestly, I have to go and um, start preparing to breed my rabbits. That's how bad it's getting. You got to do all you can do while you can do it. Am I nervous about it? Very because this will be my first time doing it. But don't worry, I'm gonna record some of it for you. Um, let's jump right into it. So I have news you can use, and it is not great news, but yet still, I need to bring it to you because I haven't seen it on mainstream media. And thank whoever, and I know who you are, thank you for sending me. So with this first story, um, I also have a news clip that goes along with it. This is concerning all the different closures. Just yesterday, I told you about Walmart laying off 400 workers at a fulfillment center, right? Um, and I reminded you that they just did the same thing last year. 
um, at a fulfillment center in Atlanta. So as I said, the process is, it never really ended. I can't even say it's beginning because it's been going on for what, three years now. So Walmart is closing four locations in Chicago. I have the locations, I'm gonna give them to you, but first let me give you a little info on this. Reasonings behind why they are closing these four locations in Chicago is, they said in quotation marks, the simplest explanation is that collectively our Chicago stores have not been profitable since we opened the first one nearly 17 years ago. But all of a sudden now you're closing? That makes no sense. If it hasn't been profitable, all, no one's gonna keep something open that long if it hasn't been profitable. So right there sounds like a lie. Um, it may be a lot of theft because theft is on the rise. That is why Walmart and other stores and pharmacies have been locking everything up from ice cream to butter um and meat so 17 years i don't know it says these stores lose tens of millions of dollars a year and y'all didn't close come on now yeah. i'm not even gonna read y'all the rest of these lies i'm just gonna give you the four stores that are shutting down so the chatham super center the walmart health center and the Walmart Academy. All of that's one location now. 8431 South Stewart Avenue. The next one is Kenwood Neighborhood Market at 4720 South Cottage Grove Avenue. The next one is Lakeview Neighborhood Market, 2844 North Broadway Street. And the fourth one is Little Village Neighborhood Market, 2551 West Cermak Road. So let's go back to that first one. That's actually a health center too. So they're not just losing the supermarket, they're losing a lot more than that. So those stores will be closing mid-April, if I'm not mistaken, the 16th, around the 16th. Um, but it says pharmacies at the set to close locations will remain open to serve patients for up to 30 days. All associates at the closing stores will be paid through August 11th, 2023. That's very kind of them. Unless they accept a transfer to another location. So you're trying to tell me you'll pay me if I don't accept a transfer? What you think them people going to do? Sit home and collect a check. Employees who choose not to transfer will receive a severance package after the August 11th date. So first they said they'll receive one paid through August 11th. And then they're saying if they don't accept, then they'll get paid after the, I don't know. Anyway, that's what the story says, y'all. Like I said, more lies. And, and who says Candy Burris? The lies, the lies, the lies. That's all it is. So let's go to the next story. So those four Walmarts in that Chicago area is like the lower income area. But just as a reminder, they just closed three Walmarts in the suburbs of Chicago. The Walmart stores in Homewood and Plainfield um, closed March 10th. And the Walmart pickup location in Lincolnwood closed on February 17th i gave you those stories so that's it for the walmart right now so we're gonna go to the next story so not sure if you remember but a few weeks ago i gave you a story about they trying to starve us out right but it was about tyson food closing two of their locations okay um this is an update from that story so tyson food worker strike at u.s chicken plant set to close so even though they're set to close the workers are striking so if you start seeing your shelves look a little slim because just the other day in aldi that's how it looked a lot slim um and they even had any bread y'all so if y'all think this ain't hitting the fan it's hitting the fan so this is breaking news because i mean i don't know how long this story been out but the first 
you know, notice of them closing was about two weeks ago. So as of today, May 12th, this is happening that they are, they are closing. And today is the 12th. Yes, it is. So it says about 150 employees of a Tyson food chicken plant in Arkansas went on strike on Monday for better treatment before the company shuts the facility. I mean, they just went on strike on Monday and they closed today. So I don't see the point in that. They must really have been treating those workers horrible for those past two weeks for them to actually just, hey, I'm going to walk out because I'm over it. Um, this is crazy. So it says Tyson plans to close the plant in Van Buren, Arkansas on May 12th, which is today. Um, eliminating jobs for 969 employees as it seeks to improve performance in its chicken business. Um, what do they mean to increase their their stock, their money? What, what are they talking about? It says employees refused to work in part because Tyson said they would not receive full payouts for vacation time they accrued. See, I told you it had to have been something they was doing in them two weeks since I re first reported that Tyson was closing these two stores. How you going to not pay these folks their vacation time they accrued or their sick time that they accrued? Y'all, these... Big money ballers, honey. But they take your money. He said the strike may continue on Tuesday and Wednesday. So that was yesterday and today. So hopefully they have settled it because Tyson released a statement. And they, they said um, later on Monday, it will give full payouts to employees with unused vacation or holiday time and pay $1,000 to workers who stay in their jobs until the plant closes. Did you think, so they thought they could come in and tell them folks, we shutting down on May 12th. Oh yeah, I'm not going to give you your vacation time. And they thought them people was going to still come in there and work for them. I don't blame them. I would have walked out too. It worked. One of the workers, y'all, one of the workers is spilling the tea. She says, 52 years old, I'm not even going to say her name. She says she suffered elbow and knee injuries from working at the plant for more than 14 years. We are being treated really bad. Sadly, well... They won't be treated bad anymore because today is the last day at the Tyson's. So I hope they're able to, you know, recover, find something else. I mean, just imagine at 52 having to start all over again. But this is continuing to happen um, no matter your age. We're seeing more grandmas working, more grandpas working. But it's difficult because of health issues. So... Prayers out to all of them. So, child, I thought the story was over. It's not over. So, Tyson said it is offering financial incentives for relocating and that Van Buren workers can apply for open jobs um, at any of their other facilities. They're also saying that because they received so much pushback over a plan to shut down the chicken plant in Glen Allen, Virginia, because remember I said they was closing too, with 692 employees, the company has said it will shift demand to other facilities from the plants it is closing. So they either going to cut back on something at some other facilities in order to keep that one open, but it's going to be cut somewhere. So this ain't over, y'all. This ain't over, but... I'll try to stay on it for you. So let's not forget that McDonald's did that whole massive layoff thing that they did with their corporate offices and shut it down temporarily and gave people um, packages, well, offered them packages of reduced pay and just, it's, it's just messy out here, y'all. If y'all think we ain't in a recession, I don't care what they tell you on their news. If you watch the news, they lie. All of them lying. How did we get here? Lies. How are we going to stay here? Lies. And so many people are just oblivious or just don't want to know.
But all of this stuff is happening. And it, it continues to pile and pile and pile and stack and stack and stack each and every, each and every day, each and every day. Prepare now, stock up. 